Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to check in with women's basketball. We're joined by head coach Kendra Fosting. Coach, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Obviously, it's been a great run uh, here since the holiday break for your team. Uh, five straight wins all on the road, and nice to be back at home. Absolutely. We were on the road for a long time. I did. I forgot where Wake Arena was. Um, it, you know, it's just a battle on the road, first of all, and in conference. And, um, you know, we have to find a way to figure it out and grind out some Ws. Obviously, you got to be pleased with the way your team's playing. A lot of young kids mm -hmm. that uh, continue to get better and better as the years went on. Yeah, I, that's what's crazy. You know, we were, we we're watching film and, and talking about our, our games from this weekend and um, meeting with players individually, and, and we're doing so many great things. And then we're like, oh, well, but look at this huge opportunity for growth here, here, and here. And so, we're not, you know, we're not done yet. And, um, and, and figuring out how to add to that is going to be a big step for us. Throw some of the highlights of this past weekend. A uh, mm -hmm. long trip to the snowy Upper Peninsula, but got uh, two big wins starting uh, on Thursday night at Northern Michigan. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Northern is just big and really disciplined. They do what they do. They're going to pound it inside, and then they're going to all stand on the perimeter, pass it around until they get an open three, or they're going to pound it back inside. And so clearly, you know, we were undersized, and our ball pressure and our uh, double and rotations was really important. And we went away from that a little bit in the um, first half, I felt like we needed to zone a little bit, and I felt wrong because in the second half we were predominantly man, and um, you know we did a really good job with our rotations um, and and defensively, um, you know the game-winning play was a defensive play in our in our man-to-man -man defense by Adrian. Adrian Anderson with the bucket right there. Riley Blair, uh, they both had 19 points here mm -hmm. in the ball game and, and doing a lot of the scoring load for you. Absolutely, and 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 Adrian, I mean, I can't. I think she had three steals for scores for us or somebody else, and and that's a huge stat. Um, you know, Zoe Anderson came in and hit two big threes. They they were protecting the rim with with their um, their post player, and she stepped in and did a really good job. And then, you know, Chloe Idoni hit a couple in the second half as well. So it was really important for us that we had to negate size by spreading the floor. Uh, moving the ball and on the defensive end some pressure and, and that's really how the second half shook out. Down eight at halftime but uh, again uh, this third quarter has kind of been uh, your quarter mm -hmm. here this season. Yeah we, we tend to figure it out in the third quarter and like you just saw that transition um, I think Adrian Anderson went into her zone again we talk about her quarter as the third quarter and um, like this finish right here this and one finish this is a tough finish um, and then that huge three by Renee um, you know, so it really, I mean, they're just, they're tough when I mean, we got blitz on the boards and, um, and this was, this was a game winning play, you know, a steal defensively. They had scored on that play two other times in the game and we, they, our, our group switched it and, and Adrian went and got a steal. So final free throw here to win it 66 to 60 and always nice to, to start off a, a long trip like that with a win on Thursday night. Sure. Yeah. It's wins are always good. We'll take, we'll take them any way we can get them. Uh, it's a tough place to play too. You know, it's a big arena. Um, you know, the travel is is long, and um, and and they're a good team, a good, well-coached team. So that's a big, that's a good W. Obviously, you had to come back on Saturday against another team that uh, traditionally has been well-coached and, and very good in Michigan Tech, and a, a tough environment up there to play. In yeah, Hayden. absolutely, a lot of fun. I don't know if we have any footage of the band, <laughs> uh, but but there was a cardboard cutout of Queen Elizabeth. There was all sorts of fun stuff going on up there. Uh, mostly, our overtime win was the best part. Uh, but that other stuff was great. Um, yeah, turning around, short turnaround for a really well coached team, and and they're, you know, they're similar to us in in stature. We'll say um, they put, we we do a lot of similar things. And for us in the first half, it really was about these defensive deflections. I, I can't tell you how many gap steals we had where we deflected it and they're bobbling it because we're we're covered. We just can really cover ground. Um, and so that led to us in, you know, transition as well. Obviously, uh, your starters here, especially in the first half, played a, played a lot of minutes for you. Yeah, that must be bad coaching. <laughs> um, yeah, I, it's hard to take them off the floor. One, they play really well together, um, and they're, they just complement each other so well. Um, and we, you know, we had some, Emily caught, caught, came in and gave us some good, great minutes. Zoe Anderson, Sam Krause. Uh, at the end of the game in overtime, huge, huge minutes defensively. Um, but, but these kids play really well together, and it's, it's, it's hard for me to take them off the floor. Build a double-digit lead uh, here in the first half, but uh, you'll, you'll see Michigan Tech come back, and you knew they weren't going to go away quietly. No, absolutely. They're, they're relentless. Um, you know, we're up, we're up 10 at halftime, and um, we really 
struggled in our zone a little bit early um, and we went back to man and that helped and then um, offensively we just we missed a couple bunnies uh, we weren't moving the ball as well um, but we we figured out in the end how to how to get that game in overtime what were some keys maybe here in the fourth quarter to, to try to get it to overtime a close ball game here back and forth in the fourth quarter yeah it really was defensively where we couldn't stop them and in the last minute you know we got some pretty big stops um, Riley had a, a, a big block um, and then going into overtime here you know Chloe sco scored quickly in the post and then Riley got a transition bucket um, to put us up four and when she hit that three and we I think we went up seven at that point um, you know that was some pretty good momentum for us in overtime. 80-73 the final and uh, first sweep uh, for your program in the Upper Peninsula since 2011-2012 and I know that means a great deal. Absolutely I think did you say that somebody said the third time in school history that that we've done that and um, those are tough that's a tough trip and those are really good teams and um, you know we talked before we went up about what a special trip that is because you know we say it's special because it's hard and we want our kids to enjoy it instead of think about how hard it is um, and and I'm just really proud of our group for their resilience um, you know down at Mich or down at northern michigan on thursday night come back get a w up 10 at halftime go into overtime having a 10 you know 10 point lead at halftime and find a way you know to win what do we win seven or eight um, you would remember better than i am um, so I i'm really proud of our group for that just continuing to figure it out and um, and stay the course and support each other and pick each other up and, and it doesn't matter to this group It doesn't matter who gets what it doesn't matter about awards. It doesn't matter who scores the points I mean Mallory McCartney had 10 and 11 rebounds at the point guard spot and Our post players don't they don't need to get the ball. They just need to make sure we get the ball um, and so th those things are, are pretty special about this group. You mentioned awards, uh, not counting uh, oh, or not caring who wins the awards, but mm -hmm. Riley Blair won an award, GLIAC Player of the Week, and that's nice to see. Absolutely. I said uh, after the game on the overtime game on Saturday, I said, oh, she scored, th I'm reading the stat sheet, she scored 30 points. I'm like, that's a quiet, how do you have a quiet 30 points? <laughs> um, but she, you know, she just really has the knack for putting the ball in the basket and she you know she's hitting three she's scoring in the post um, you know they were doubling her and and she got a couple threes uh, one for Mal and I think um, I think uh, Renee and so you know she's just not only is she scoring but she's just making us make so much better finally here quickly uh, two big games this week with Parkside Purdue Northwest coming into Wink Arena yeah Parkside plays a really unique style they're um, they don't have a dominant like inside post. Um, their their fours and fives are playing on the perimeter and posting up. They can score in a lot of ways. You know they switch everything on defense. They play fast. They really can score. I mean they flat out can put the ball in the basket. Um, so it should be it should be an interesting game. It should be a fun game to watch. Well, coach, thanks uh, and congratulations on the great start. We'll talk to you again soon. I appreciate it. Thanks, Robert. That'll do it for Ferris Sports Update. Reminder: you can get all the results online at <coughs> FerrisStateBulldogs.com. Have a great week.